This latest one is based on a collection of photographs of vintage uh, vintage photographs of women. Um, some friends and sort of also um, maybe the idea of home and country. Mostly a collection of photographs that I had and I wanted to just put them together in one book because there's just a large variety of different kinds of photographs and I wanted to keep them together. So there's different photographs, different time periods, and ledger, and vintage, book pages from the Sears catalog, and then little booklets with ledger paper. Kind of tucked in. And mm, cards and index cards and more photographs of different women, paper, lots of journaling space here. Um, let's see, I did forget to kind of turn the book around because there's six signatures. Um, tea dyed muslin, or I think this is more of a canvas, marbled paper with a little bit of a coating to keep things kind of uh, not getting messed up when you use it. And this woman golfing, and just lots of papers, ledger paper, and a little bit of sewing because I did want to include some material just for fun, some fabric, and parchment paper. So there's a real mix of um, of that. I think um, thinking about making more books where there's more um, paper and fiber combined. And this really great uh, garden book that I found, and also um, some hibiscus dyed paper. So that there's a lot of that here in the purple. This is a great ledger, nice and wide. Great grandchildren. I love the purples that come out. The fly bush, one of my favorites, Calendula. It's a vintage book. Um, another little booklet with ledger. And more papers and pictures. So this is kind of about women all ages at home doing things in the mountains. <laughs> I love this one. This is a really old picture, I think. Um, but I love that. I don't know what's going on exactly. Another little booklet. I love this one. This is from a collection I had that's local. So I love, I'm not sure, I'm assuming these are just regular American flags. (laughs) 
And then I love this. This opens up. <laughs> this is a fun one. It's one of my European... I got some vintage photos that were from Europe. And those are interesting. With my mom being from Berlin. So those are really fun. <laughs> That's Berlin. That's where my mom's from. I don't know where that would be. This reminds me of where I grew up in Queens, in New York, in these apartments. This old design and lamps and stuff. And just more papers sewn in fabrics. Handkerchief and um, tablecloth. Friends. Mm -hmm. and a little hmm. I love this one. Got a tennis racket there. I love this beautiful writing on the ledger. And then in here there are a lot of coffee and tea dyed uh, index cards. For notes and stuff. Love this outfit. This journal's pretty big. I think it's at least it's six by nine. I love this collection of um, pictures of women in all different time periods. And I love how some of the hibiscus paper came out. Blue and purple. And then this is really a hoot to me. These pictures, um, these two women are obviously the same. But then this is a different person. But the dress is different. But they look similar. Um, so I just had to include them together. I'm not sure how I had that. This is one of my favorites. Sort of mid-century modern building, maybe in the 60s. Nothing on the back. And then these are wonderful ones, some friends. And these must be from European ones. My, that's German, 1948, May 1948, so. 
And then this one as well. The old car in there. 